imagine the sun as a sleeping giant. For years, it lies relatively quiet, but then, without warning, it erupts into action, sending out massive waves of energy across the solar system. This period of wild activity is called the solar maximum, a time when the sun is at its most fierce, its surface dotted with sunspots, and its energy unleashing violent solar flares and coronal mass ejections CMEs. And guess what? We're in the thick of it right now. Buckle up as we dive into this thrilling cosmic roller coaster. Solar maximum is part of the sun's natural 11-year cycle. Every 11 years, the sun ramps up its activity, and during the maximum phase, it releases extreme bursts of radiation and energy. Imagine the surface of the sun swarming with sunspots, darker and cooler regions that store enormous magnetic fields. These spots are like the trigger points for solar storms, where flares and CMEs, the solar system's biggest explosions, are born. Solar flares? Think of them as powerful flashes of light and radiation that can supercharge the auroras on Earth, but also wreak havoc on satellites, GPS, and even power grids. CMEs? They're giant clouds of charged particles that the sun hurls into space, with enough energy to fry electronics on Earth if we're caught in their path. 2024 has been one of the wildest years for solar activity. In May alone, we witnessed over 80 solar flares, with nine of them being the most powerful X-class flares, the sun's version of a supernova-level punch. These flares sparked some of the strongest geomagnetic storms in two decades, lighting up the night sky with dazzling auroras seen as far south as Texas and Spain. But these storms aren't just about beauty. Imagine your GPS going haywire while flying a plane, or your phone signal suddenly dropping. That's just a glimpse of the disruption solar storms can cause. The sun is literally bombarding Earth with energy, and we've only scratched the surface of its potential. Some experts even believe we could experience one of the strongest aurora displays in 500 years if these storms keep up. But why does this happen? The sun's activity is like a pendulum, swinging from quiet to chaotic and back again. This solar cycle has been observed for centuries, with each one leaving its own mark on history. The stakes are higher now than ever before as we rely on satellites for everything from weather forecasting to global communication. As the sun peaks, space agencies like NASA are on high alert, monitoring every burst and flare to protect astronauts and space missions. For explorers, the solar maximum isn't just a threat, it's an opportunity. NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter are flying closer to the sun than any spacecraft before, seeking to unlock the secrets of the solar cycle and understand how these massive bursts of energy shape not just our solar system but our future space exploration. Will we one day use this energy to power human colonies on other planets? The next decade of solar discovery might hold the answers. The sun is roaring like never before, and we're living in an era where the stars can literally knock out the lights. But beyond the risks lie the mysteries of our cosmic neighborhood, waiting to be explored. Whether you're standing beneath the auroras or watching NASA's next daring mission, one thing is for sure, the sun is alive, and its story is just beginning. So, are you ready to keep your eyes on the skies and explore the fiery depths of the solar maximum? The adventure is just heating up.